Hey everybody, Scott Sprites are here, DocSports.com, our update for Wednesday, April 29, 2020. Hope you were all doing well and staying healthy. We've got our Denver Broncos 2020 preview coming up as we continue in the AFC West with our thumbnail sketches. Uh, before I get to that, a couple of quick notes. Listen, we do have an update as far as how COVID-19 is affecting uh, the world of North American sports and Major League Baseball, if you haven't heard uh, throughout the course of Tuesday, has a plan set to try and start the league in late June or early Early July. What they're planning on doing is having three divisions rather than the traditional American League and National League divisions. I'm going to bring up my phone here because I wanted to let you know how the teams will be broken up if this plan goes through. Uh, the West, the Central, and the East. Those are the three divisions. No American League, no National League. They'll play 100 regular season games rather than 162. Uh, the West would be made up of the Dodgers, the Angels, the Giants, the Houston Astros, the Rangers, the Seattle Mariners, Arizona, the Oakland A's, Colorado, and San Diego. Uh, now the Central would be made up of the Cubs and the White Sox, the Milwaukee Brewers and the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, the Royals and the Reds, Cleveland and Minnesota, Atlanta and the Detroit Tigers, and in the East you'd have the Yankees and the Mets, the Red Sox and the Orioles, the Washington Nationals and the Phillies, the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Blue Jays and the Rays and the Miami Marlins. So three divisions, each with 10 teams, and the teams would play within the division. So you'd see an Angels-Dodgers game, but you wouldn't see the Dodgers play the Yankees or the Mets. And so that's the way they're looking to do this. If all goes as planned, if this all comes to fruition, uh, then we will have baseball by the end of June or the start of July uh, with what I told you, those rules and those divisional breakdowns for 2020 in place. NASCAR update. We told you a few days ago that they're going to restart on May 17th in Darlington. Well, here's the first few races now. Darlington on May 17th, Darlington on May 20th, and then they're going to run the 600 in Charlotte on May 24th. Uh, and according to reports, Charlotte has already given the AOK. -okay. So you're talking about three NASCAR races between May 17th and May 24th to jumpstart the restart of the NASCAR 2020 campaign. We can't wait. You already know about UFC uh, 249 is set to take place May 9th in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Korean Baseball League, they're in the exhibition season right now. They're looking to start the regular season on May 5th. A lot of those games go at 10 p.m. Pacific time. I'm out here on the West Coast, so that's great news for those of us who like to stay up late and are on the West Coast. Uh, and also, there is some talk. There's been some uh, little stalling here back and forth between whether or not ESPN is going to somehow gain the rights to broadcast some of the Korean Baseball League uh, contests in North America. We'll see if that comes through, but at least we know that league is going to start. Now, if you're into Taiwan baseball, which is crazy start times, I know it's tough to keep track of. If you're into Nicaraguan soccer, if you're into Belarus soccer, I'm doing all those sports right now over at DocSports.com. In fact, I'll be in action on Wednesday. Got a couple of Nicaraguan playoff soccer games. I'm in action and my Nicaraguan soccer will be posted Wednesday, DocSports.com on my homepage uh, after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Both games go at night and that is um, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Eastern, and also uh, that would be 7 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Pacific. Those are the two games and their start times for Wednesday's Nicaraguan soccer. So if you want to jump on board, uh, be, be, be sure to do so. Uh, we're five and one, by the way, over the last 11 or 12 days in soccer. So we haven't had a soccer game or player bet every single day, but we're five and one when we do. All right, uh, that's going to do it for our update with the COVID-19 virus and how it's affecting the world of sports. Uh, let's jump into our second thumbnail preview in the AFC West, and that is the Denver Broncos, who are plus 1,000 to win the AFC West. They are one of three teams with an over-under total of 7.5. Of course, Kansas City, the only team with an over-under win total posted of above 7.5. They are at 11.5. We talked about them on yesterday's video. You can check it out on my YouTube page if you care to do so. As far as the Denver Broncos, over or under seven and a half, the over minus a buck 15, the under minus a dollar five, and again, plus 1,000 to win the division. Now, uh, they needed a lot in the offseason. They got a little. I, I do like Jerry Judy, the 15th pick in the draft for Denver, and, and it makes sense because if Drew Locke is the guy they're going to go with as their starting quarterback, then I think that's a nice pick. I actually thought Judy was the best receiver in the draft, even though he didn't go as the top receiver taken. Uh, 
but I think he makes a difference in what will be his rookie campaign. Uh, they also needed help in the trenches on both sides of the line of scrimmage. We're talking about offense and defense and at linebacker and secondary. And I thought they kind of failed a bit to get the job done, uh, in my opinion, this offseason thus far in those particular units. I gave them a C plus B minus in that neighborhood when you combine what they did in the draft to what they did in free agency. Probably a B minus. Uh, again, the over-under is seven and a half. When you look at their schedule, it's tough to find eight wins, guys. Uh, I'm just telling you like it is. Uh, Kansas City, Las Vegas, and the Chargers, those are their three divisional games. KC obviously playing them twice is, is very tough. Uh, so their rating that I give them in that is a 53, the way I add it up. And that is a very tough slate. Uh, their road games outside of the division, they play Atlanta, Carolina, New England, the Jets, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, there's only two teams of those five I just gave you on the road uh, that have a posted wins total of, se of more than seven and a half. That would be, of course, New England and Pittsburgh. Their wins totals are nine. So if you look at the road schedule, it isn't, at least on paper, all that tough, a 37.5. Now, their home schedule includes uh, the Bills, the Dolphins, the Saints, the Buccaneers, and the Titans. Uh, the only team in that bunch that looks like a solid chance at a victory for Denver would be when they host the Miami Dolphins. I mean, the Bills, the, the Saints, the Buccaneers, the Titans, all likely to be playing for a playoff spot by the end of the season. That's not easy. So it's real tough to project this team to get over seven and a half wins. I really do think it is a seven win football team, the Denver Broncos uh, Wednesday's preview. So again, uh, we talked about what's going on with COVID-19, its effect on North American sports. We are still involved Nicaraguan soccer. There are two games on Wednesday. We're involved in at least one and it will be available at 1130 a.m. Eastern, 830 a.m. In Pacific on Wednesday only at DocSports.com. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow. That will be Thursday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll continue our run through the AFC West, uh, so be sure to check that out. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. Stay healthy, everybody. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.